Hello guys, how's it going Matthew has and welcome to my first reaction video that I've done on my channel. But today guys we are uh, reacting to the PlayStation E3 experience, the uh, 2015 press conference. So let's just get watching shall we? <laughs> Tell where it unfolded. Cool. Greatness awaits. Yes. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> adorable. I'm like dying over here. It's so cute. We are just moments away now, Meredith, from the big She's show. Cute. It's about to start here <laughs> in just a moment. Remember, we will be back here for a post show as well after all of the surprises have unfolded. But also, we will be live on stage all week. That's right. You can catch Anthony, myself, all the guys in the blog team, Sid, Justin, Ryan. We're going to be here all week long in the live cast doing interviews and showing exclusive trailers and a really awesome live gameplay. Right now, we're going to head over to the press conference. Enjoy. We'll see you guys after the show. <laughs> here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. So I can't wait to watch this. Special would be my first reaction video. But yeah, probably with it being long, guys, I'll probably be um, editing it into little chunks. You know what I mean? But I'll probably will upload the full video eventually. <coughs> Uh, they're kicking off a little trailer like they usually do. Oh, that's No Man's Sky there. Metal Gear. You will bring death to all who follow me. I never asked you your name. My name is Max. Mad Max. You will feel my wrath. Miss. Oh, is that a little bit of the forest then? Oh yeah, it is. It does say that it's coming out on PS4, doesn't it? I nearly shot your head off. Uncharted. Good to see you alive, little brother. Come on. We got a treasure. Kind of wet to play that. I probably will get the um, the Drake collection as well. Eventually. Is there swear in there? Here we fucking go. <laughs> Street Fighter there. Got a wall. Until dawn as well. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Please welcome Sean Layden. I got my beers ready as well. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, <coughs> and welcome. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, Welcome to thousands at theaters across North America who are also watching us. Who the fuck would be like tomorrow. past two o'clock in the morning? The press conference. Here in the UK. Since but the, hopefully it'll be worth the wait saying no. PlayStation 4, we have seen so much creativity from developers and so much innovation from engineers who continue to evolve yet our most powerful console. Today, we will show how games, some familiar and some entirely new, are taking advantage of PS4's powerful technology to create, indeed, the best place to play. That's a clap line. That's an applause line. From our PlayStation community of engineers, creators, and developers, PS4 became the start of a new reality in computer entertainment. A reality where games and gamers come first. A reality where games and developers matter. A reality where games drive innovation, where games are filled with intelligence, insight, and emotional narrative. 
a reality where games are the hubs of global <clears throat> connection and collaboration. Indeed, a reality where games are the cultural zeitgeist. This new reality of gaming is expansive, inclusive, and boundless. And we can't wait to show you what we mean. Uh, a socially leg. connected network has continued to grow and represents more than traditional gaming. Uh. We have risen to the new challenges and opportunities of becoming the best entertainment experience available. And it is. What continues to excite me every day are the advances we're seeing in game development. I believe we're witnessing an historic evolution in gaming, full stop. One that is not only redefining how we play, but is broadening the appeal of PlayStation to more people than ever before. But let's get on with it. Our first game tonight has been long anticipated by the gaming community. It is conceived as a poetic story of adventure and friendship, heroism and companionship. Oh, please, please. I'm personally proud and incredibly thrilled to introduce this long-awaited game. Oh, please let me... Please let it be what I think it is. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Oh, it's the last... The last Guardian. No way. I'm filling up, I'm filling up. God, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this game. Seriously. Wait for this for so long, guys. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Oh, his eyes got red. Then you don't like that. You really. 
really does look like that. Is that maybe is part of the game that we need to get rid of them things? <laughs> yeah, I really don't like them, does he? Changed since the last trailer that I saw. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. Jump, jump! Ah, no! Shit, go! Go, go, go! There's a hint of a uh, shadow of Colossus in that, isn't there? It's climbing the beast. Oh, well, yeah, there's a blend of both in the shadow of Colossus and um, I got. Oh, go on, lad. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> scratching as if oh, I'm not fucking bothered. <laughs> oh, that was nothing. <laughs> I could not be happier standing here today. You don't know how long I have waited for this moment to to reintroduce the last guardian. You're not a fucking only one man. Gameplay footage on PlayStation 4. Yes. And of course, I'd like to acknowledge the visionary behind this title for all his creativity, leadership, and hard work. The creative director of Last Guardian, Fumito Ueda. Ueda-san. Good on you, mate. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I'm next to introduce a completely new franchise that I'm totally excited about. Oh, I cannot wait for that. I really cannot wait for that, guys. From Guerrilla Games, Harmon First. <laughs> Is he trying to be a model with the catwalk? <laughs> Once every decade or so, game studios get a rare opportunity. An opportunity to leave behind the comfortable and familiar 
to conquer the challenge of exploring exotic new horizons. It's been a long journey getting here, but today, on behalf of everyone at Guerrilla Games, I am delighted to finally unveil our newest franchise. Cool. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive, so fuck you, Xbox. We know we weren't the first ones here. Our stories speak of the ones that came before. The old ones. Oh, city skyscrapers, uh, most of it. The world of the old ones was so different than ours. They had built incredible cities. It's with New York. That reached the stars. Why is it always New York? Why? But a darkness came. And their cities turned to graves. And without them, the land started to change. Their great cities faded away. Probably will be in the future. And in their place. Unless we don't do something about it. Life. it. Looks very pretty. It's really nice. Over time, one by one, the tribes came to these lands. Some small and humble. Some Powerful as kings. They say oh, my tribe was the first. The first to hunt. The first to raise our bows. For this world was never ours. We've always shared it. A dangerous balance the hell between them? man and machine. Oh, if that's in game footage. Finally. Is that. No way, that's in game footage. Fucking hell, that looks amazing. A watcher. Better stay out of sight. Go, go away. No, you don't. Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, little one. Let you call for help. Perfect day for a hunt. So those basically taking over the animals. The fucking machine type things. I wonder if those birds in the sky are robots. This is going to be harder than I thought. Uh, just a bit. This canister should be full by now. Canisters. A couple more. Oh, come on. Obviously, those canisters prove some. Whoa. Yeah, those canisters prove something on. Gee. Some importance in the game, kind of says, whoa. Gotta get under it. Slide. Whoa. It is actually awesome to see some actual PS4 games, you know what I mean? 
against over the whole remaster situation. Don't get me wrong, um, I'm not really fussed about certain remasters, you know what I mean? Like, um, like The Last of Us and um, the God of War 3 that's going to come out soon. And the um, Uncharted trilogy. Yeah, certain games like that don't exactly bother me with remasters. Right. Time to shut you down. I'm just trying to remaster everything, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a bit you know. What I would like to see is remaster uh, the um, Project Zero trilogy. Or Fatal Frame trilogy, should I say. The stories don't tell and, um, where the ones went. For me personally, I'd like to see uh, they don't tell us why the machines rule HD lands. remaster of uh, the number Before Christmas, <laughs> which was on the uh, PS2. Really enjoyed that game. Plus, it's one of my favourite films. Well, it is my favourite film ever. Horizon Zero Dawn. Ooh. And I will be ready. Interesting, looks pretty cool, that one. We're at 47. I've got the first row files compiled and uploaded. Go over them and let me know what you need. Hitman. I've played a Hitman game for ages, I really haven't. <coughs> I think the last Hitman game I remember playing was um, Blood Money, I think it was called. Again, that was on the PS2. Good to have you back. Looks a lot younger there. Please welcome Assad Kizzlebash. Kizzlebash. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was, that was beautiful and brutal. This is the world of assassination, and that was the world premiere of the new Hitman. Gamers will travel to exotic locations around the world to take out high-profile targets as Agent 47 returns in the most ambitious Hitman ever created. Developer IO Interactive are bringing this blockbuster franchise to console and PC leading with a digital release that will invite gamers to a live and ever-expanding world that will continue to grow, deepen, I have a sure similar to that. On. And PlayStation is the place to experience the new Hitman. With a console-exclusive beta being available to PlayStation 4 gamers when they pre-order the game, which is awesome, and then six unique contracts that will be exclusive to PlayStation 4 players as the year goes on when the game launches. Can't wait for this game. It's great to see Agent 47 back again. Okay, so this next title is fantastic. It's a console exclu exclusive, and it's fan favorite, Street Fighter V. Let's take a look. Yeah, 
I've never been I've never been a huge fan of um, beat em ups. Those look pretty cool though. How cool is that? The next I think evolution to PC of this well, legendary fighting it? franchise is coming exclusively to PlayStation 4 and PC. Yeah, probably. And we're excited to announce that the very first public beta is exclusive to PlayStation 4 gamers and it's starting July 23rd. All right, so get that in your calendars. I'll be on it, so hopefully I'll see you guys there. So, let's talk about some more games. This next title captured the imagination of the whole industry when it was first announced, and expands our very notion of the word scale. To help us tell more about it, I'd like to welcome from Hello Games, Sean Murray. Man Sky. Hi guys. So last year, I stood here and we showed you a video of this crazy game we're making called No Man's Sky. This year, I guess I really just wanted to show you how it plays. Now this, I'm quite interested in. I really am. Considering this. So this is a giant sandbox. I don't know how I'm many making, galaxies and planets are out there. Sandbox. It's full of choices. <clears throat> like here, we're at the boundary between two warring factions. I could join in, I could take sides. I do wonder though if this will have like a story to it, you know what I mean? But I don't know, I really don't know. So that's a tiny glimpse of space combat, uh, but I've only got three minutes and there's loads that I want to show you. Like this. So this is the solar system that we're currently at. That's where that battle is taking place, but battles like that are taking place across the universe. If I pull back a little bit, you could see the other stars nearby that I can reach with my current hyperdrive. And I'm going to pull back a little bit more to give you a sense of the size of the game. But when I do, I really need you to keep in mind to understand that every one of these points of light is a sun. And every one of those suns has its own solar system with planet-sized planets orbiting around it. Those have life, ecology. And I can even go a little faster. Oh my god! Don't tell me you can travel to every single one of them. I've never been visited. Many of them never will be. Well, that's Over again, there, no one will ever be able to complete. Is the center of the galaxy. That's where we're all trying to get to. Unless there is a story mode to it. And I'm going to do something really stupid. I've just got to pick one of these at random. And we can go there. Now this was okay in rehearsal, otherwise I wouldn't be here, but... Uh, if anything horrible goes wrong, just keep in mind that I've not been here before. Cool. So here we are in an undiscovered solar system. Probably no one's ever been here before. I could do a scan. And when I do, you'll see some points of interest. That red one down there is a beacon. Okay. And I've made it so that there's always a beacon near where I warp in just for this. I kind of like how you just come 
continue to see the lords where you zoom so it down you can just instantly you... land in it. It's fucking awesome. Beacons are where you upload discoveries. That's it over there, behind that rock. Um, and this is the planet that we've just found. Just an alien world that we found together. This is planet E3. <laughs> It's not like the prettiest planet I've seen better, uh, but I've also seen a lot worse. Uh, so I could do a scan, and uh, as luck would have it, there's no alien life, uh, but I could show you this. So every planet in every solar system is fully destructible. Yeah, hey, don't destroy that tree, whatever it is. Oh, patrol. Those guys are the sentinels. They protect the planets from explorers like me. Oh. Swim. And now I'm underwater. And there's fish. There's the V3 fish. Cool. So now I need to find that beacon. Uh, and I can upload those discoveries. <laughs> Little creatures there. Uh... But yeah, it really does intrigue me this one, it really does. So now one down many trophies this will have to release date soon, I promise. When the game is out, one of you might one day come across this planet. And that's just a little glimpse of No Man's Sky. It's got trading, fighting, exploring, survival, and it's a huge game. Thank you. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Console debut. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Hello Games. How was that? Amazing, right? Every time I see that game, it blows my mind. So, moving from the massive scale of the universe to the wonderful complexity and richness of the human imagination. Uh, oh, this next title me. showcases how the genius minds of a studio are challenging the very nature of how we create. Hello, thank you very much. I'm proud and excited to be here today to tell you what we've been working on at Media Molecule. It's the most ambitious. Thank you. That would be quite the. It's sort of crazy, and I'm hoping today that I can kind of make you all scratch your heads. It's the, it's the most exciting thing I've ever worked on. And when we were making Little Big Planet and Tearaway, we learned a lot about digital creativity. So today, I want to tell you about the next step on that journey. We call it dreams. You know that feeling of lucid dreaming, of moving through impossible time and space? You know, perhaps you started in the streets of that city, and then suddenly you're diving into the deepest reaches of the ocean. It feels surreal and wonderful, and that's the sensation we're going for on PlayStation 4. So we're building a place where you go to play and explore the dreams of others, and then you can create and share your own. Every individual dream is seamlessly linked to the others. It's sort of woven into an open dream of us. You can get lost for hours exploring, journeying through the imaginations of thousands of PS4 gamers. And the thing that unites them all is that feeling of being in a dream. But when we tried to capture those fleeting dreamlike moments, we found that there weren't any suitable tools out there and we needed a new creative palette. And of course, we'll be giving that palette to you, the gamers. So we threw away the usual polygons, keyframes, lists, all of that, and we focused instead on sketching, collaboration, immediacy, and making it feel like a game. So let me show you how it works. It's as simple as moving your controller to create your mark on the world. This, everything you see here today, is Whoa. on the PlayStation 4 with no pre-made assets. The game looks like a moving painting. It's beautiful and it leaves room for your imagination. 
You can sketch collaboratively like painting, on sofa, live online, or build on the scene, world of you know what I mean? You call up their dreams and then remix, collage, and link them together. You stand on their shoulders. Because in 2015, after all, everything is a remix. And creating is easier and more fun when you're in a dream. You don't need to stress over the details. We focus on making it quick, intuitive, and rewarding. And we found that the more enjoyable we make the creation side, the more varied, exciting, and surprising are the play experiences. As you can see, anyone can piece together a whole environment in just a few moments. And to bring your world to life, you just reach in and grab it. Performance capture is puppeteering is the most natural way to animate. So I've only had a few minutes today, so rather than trying to explain it all, I just want to give you a taste. I hope it fills your head with questions, and that's natural. Every person we've shown this to over the last four years says it takes time to sink in. So we'll have much more to share at Paris Games Week. Please stay tuned, and in the meantime, I hope you enjoy some of the first dreams realized 100% on PlayStation 4. Thanks. Now that's a head scratcher. Suppose it's like an opportunity to share your dreams with everyone, you know what I mean? Even though you can't remember everything, but you can remember a slight bit, you can actually make the dream yourself and share it with the whole world. You know what I mean? That was pretty pretty awesome. I've had a few sci-fi dreams in my day, I really have. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> Life is but a dream. It's a mix of everything. <laughs> merrily, merrily, life is but a dream. Interesting. That's got me puzzled. Wonder how they've managed to do that one. <clears throat> thank you, Alex, and thank you to the geniuses at Media Molecule. Amazing. Now you can literally create anything you can dream of. A game, a play, music, a performance, all from scratch. Absolutely amazing. So next up is an intense mystery set in the Wyoming wilderness where your only lifeline is a woman's voice at the other end of a handheld radio. Created by the brilliant storytellers of Campo Santo, Firewatch will be making its console debut on PlayStation. Let's take a look. What's in this cave down here? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. You're in it, aren't you? It doesn't <laughs> seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> that storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we are cut off. I'll see what I can do. Kind of resembles to a uh, Team Fortress 2, doesn't it? The isolation gets to people. With the cartoony animation. I talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. What makes me so special? I love you. Two young women have been reported missing. You're probably the last person to have seen them. Hey, you kids! Uh, somebody cut the comms. What? I'm out here and the wire is cut clean through. Wait, you're already there? You're not in your tower? No, I'm not. Then who is? Please welcome Adam Boys. Interesting, that looks pretty cool. What am I playing that one? This shit just never gets old. <laughs> so last year on this very stage, our partners at Activision <clears> and Bungie <throat> shared an incredible pit. vision for Destiny. Destiny. 
Destiny was the kind never of game that we never had never on PlayStation that from the get-go. One that would help define the next generation of games. And Destiny, Destiny launched last September and quickly became the biggest launch of a new video game franchise ever. And as a huge fan of the game, and a level 34 warlock as of eight days ago, <laughs> Thank you. I'm not well, really I'm a big fan of my, uh, multiplayer, you know what I mean? I, I kind of like to introduce prefer the, the great solo uh, story mode, you know what I mean? But don't get me wrong, I do tend to play a bit of multiplayer, but I do prefer the story to everything else. But, you know, with this day and age, multiplayer is vastly becoming the future. His name is Oryx, the Taken King. He's coming for you, Guardian. Guardian. Bungie. Bungie Wedgie. You blame him. You killed his son with his own sword. Oh, thanks for spoiling the game for me. <laughs> I don't know. Revenge. Whether that was a main story, I don't know. Dark army to hunt you down. I've heard the legends. You're ready. Well, yeah, the perfume friends have told me about this destiny. Um, it's more or less to do with the multiplayer instead of the story, you know what I mean? It's just finding the time to play a multiplayer. Especially when you've got a family, you know what I mean? Go get his head. Experience the next great adventure in Destiny. Destiny, the Taken King. DLC. Now you can trust me, I've tried the new supers and they are delicious! <laughs> so the first year of Destiny was incredible and I've also <coughs> played hundreds of hours. Whether you're a huge fan of Destiny like me or looking to join the 20 million people who have played Destiny, it looks like an incredible adventure. And of course, there's always going to be more Destiny on PlayStation. <coughs> We've got new gear, a multiplayer map, a badass co-op strike, and it's all new content exclusively available on day one of the Taken King. And there's so much more to come. I'm hoping I finally get my Gallahorn. Fingers crossed. And you know it. I know the same guy is missing his too. I know. Oh, so it's a full game, is it? That have four. It's Unless it's a DLC put onto disc. <laughs> I don't know. So this year's Assassin's Creed takes us deep within the criminal underbelly of 19th century London. Let's take a look at Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Mm. Who would have thought it? A revolution in need of a revolution. Assassin's Creed. Our time is upon us. If the rich use gangs to trample the poor, then we'll take over the gangs and go after the rich. It'll be hard to know to trust in these times. I'm not keen on Assassin's Creed here, but it's kind of like a I know my twin sister Evie will Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Where they have to bring a new one out each every single year. Invited in London will take us time, a lot of it. And while I've chosen to front up to these challenges head on, it's my sister who's mastered more of an elegant way. Uh, the first few, the first few Assassin's Creed is pretty cool, but now they just don't mess with Evie. Try and milk it, you know what I mean? Kind of like Disney. <laughs> Evie Fry, 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 Fry. Oh, we nasty bitch! Oh, be crushed.
It's not gameplay footage, I want gameplay footage. And we're pleased to announce that you'll be able to play some very special missions known as the Dreadful Crimes exclusively on PS4. Now you can select Jacob or Evie to solve a series of murders inspired by the works of the most famous detective novelists of Victorian England. Now Final Fantasy has a long history on PlayStation and we are excited to show you a world premiere of the newest addition to the franchise. Let's take a look. Do you remember it all, the terrible past you caused? As memories lost are slowly drawn back in, two siblings embark on an adventure unlike any before. Welcome to Grimoire, a world of the weest of beings. Well, that castle with the bridge down, that really looks like um, and turn time Shadow of Colossus. For a ride, or turn tall enough for them to ride on you. Join forces with adorably familiar heroes and heroines and witness a most peculiar story unfold. Far recognized a few of them. small in stature, but the fate that awaits them is grand indeed. <coughs> this is the size of a new Final Fantasy, the beginning of a new world, and a tale with countless encounters. Cool. World of Final Fantasy. Twenty sixteen. Cool. That looks pretty cool. Now that adorable world of Final Fantasy will be released exclusively on PlayStation and PlayStation sorry, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita in 2016. Now many years ago, Square Enix released a groundbreaking title that went on to become one of the most beloved games in PlayStation and video game history. Tonight I am proud to announce that by popular demand, we have a very special treat for everyone. Long ago, we looked upon a foreboding sky. The memory of Self -edge. the that threatened all burns eternal in our hearts. In its wake, oh, no. an age of silence. Oh, it is, it is Final Fantasy Yet VII. Each fond remembrance we knew, those encountered were not forgotten. That someday... It is Final Fantasy VII, again. it's fucking Final Fantasy. Perhaps it was no more than... It is. Thinking. Oh, to see you no more. But after the long calm, there are now the beginnings of a stir. The reunion at hand may bring joy, it may bring fear, but let us embrace whatever it brings. They <gasps> are coming back. Barrett and Cloud! At last, the promise has been made. <gasps> Fucking kiss you. <laughs> Little bit of excitement. Fucking do, right? We're proud to announce that Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming first to PlayStation 4. Oh, fucking. Oh, I fell it up again. <laughs> Now, our ongoing partnership with Evolver Di Digital has brought us some very diverse and very unique titles from developers all around the world. Oh. Today, we're announcing four new games from Devolver that are all making their console debut on PlayStation 4. <sighs> Last Guardian Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. 
That was big, though. Baba, the Russia bleeds. <laughs> Ooh, might have to play that one. Crossing souls. Mother Russia Bleeds, that's pretty cool. Now how our fans engage in the future of gaming continues to astound us. Devoted fans have funded some amazing games for PS4 via Kickstarter. Octodad, Broken Age, Amplitude, and Sports Friends, to name a few. Now recently, a developer told us that they were bringing back a fan favorite to Kickstarter for PC and PS4. Now this is very much their project, but we wanted to celebrate their announcement on our stage. In Castlevania? Since this is a game that PlayStation fans have been very, very, very vocal about. Ah, <gasps> Shenmue! どこ行っても、え、3はどうなった ?3 まあ、Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Yu Suzuki. <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. All right, are we ready to get it started? Okay. Let's count it down. Let's count it down, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, look at them, is that? Today is very exciting. I hope we can make Shemu 3 for the all the fans. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Let's help Yu Suzuki get Shenmue 3 funded. So it's been a pretty busy night so far with The Last Guardian, showed that. Final Fantasy VII Remake, we're good there. Now, <laughs> Shenmue 3 Kickstarter. Now there's one epic game coming next week that I'm very excited to play. Let's check it out, thank you very much.
No surprise it's been read to them. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Died? Nine months ago, Joker was cremated. I pressed the button and burnt the evil bastard myself. <laughs> and then, we waited. Gotham braced itself for the inevitable power struggle. But it didn't come. Crime actually fell. Deep down, I knew war was coming. I was just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. I really do hey, hope that is in game. Or, uh, Owens. There's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. <sighs> Wait here. I'll have a word. Fucking deal with it, man. Please let that be in game footage, I really do. <laughs> it's fucking incredible if it is. So can't wait to get this. Excuse me, sir. There's no smoking in here. Ooh. Is this the works of Scarecrow? Did you there? Oh, please let this be playable. That better be in game footage, I really, really do. That was fucking awesome. Please welcome Andrew House. Oh, I saw a cow where to play it at. Good evening, everyone. What better way to continue on tonight's theme of new reality than with Project Morpheus? Morpheus was designed for PS4. And because of that, developers are quickly moving from the drawing board to creating 360-degree experiences that truly immerse the player. But we haven't even scratched the surface. Okay. What we're beginning to see is that even the simplest gameplay concepts are taking <coughs> on a new sense of depth and exhilaration within the VR <coughs> landscape. <coughs> encouraging developers to re-examine with fresh eyes the wonder and delight of even the most basic gaming experiences. But up until now, many of the games have been inherently solo experiences. And what excites me is that Morpheus will be the virtual reality platform that can best realize the connection friends and families love about PS4 and the ability to play together. The Imagine competition, playing a Morpheus competition. game while four of your friends are Morpheus inside versus the same the virtual Oculus. world. Playing alongside of you with dual It's been uh, revealed that the um, Oculus comes with the uh, you can check out that exact Xbox One controller. This week. And for the multiplayer experience, we're introducing Rigs, a new, fresh IP developed by Guerrilla Cambridge that puts you in the middle of a futuristic three versus. I really won't mind getting an Oculus off for the PC game. Rigs will make but with the Xbox control, the though, you can fucking skip it. You can stick it. Project Morpheus is real, evolving, and Just a controller, to not the Oculus. ...of a whole new development community, from small teams to the big publisher partners. I would not touch an Xbox. 
old game, old controller, anything to do with Morpheus, Xbox. Like all of the entertainment features on our I hate is Xbox. And adds value and PlayStation all the way. In this life cycle, our engineers are making it possible to enhance system features quickly based on gamer needs. We recently rebranded our music service to PlayStation so you don't have to Music. Worry. PlayStation. We crafted a console exclusive partnership with the biggest brand on PlayStation the PlayStation fan all the way music, until the day I die. The partnership was conceived and tailored with the gamer in mind. And because of that, with nearly 5 million downloads, the Spotify app holds the quickest launch adoption rate in PlayStation history. And this year, we also delivered on the promise of PlayStation View, one of the most ambitious services we've created since launching the network. PlayStation View is not just a streaming service, it's a complete live TV experience designed for the gamer, making it simpler and easier to find the television they want. We are currently in New York, Chicago, and Philadelphia markets, and we are launching tonight in San Francisco and in Los Angeles. PlayStation View continues to grow and our content continues to get better. Starting in July, we will begin offering a la carte channels nationwide and will be the first pay TV service to allow users to subscribe to individual channels without the purchase of a multi-channel bundle. That's cool. PlayStation View's initial a la carte offering will launch with Showtime, Fox Soccer Plus, and a new exclusive channel from Machinima. And PlayStation Plus members can subscribe the TV to the service you wish existed rates. exists. We have something very special with PS View, and we look forward to many more announcements. With a robust network comes the best place to play. And each of our recent product innovations continues to advance our vision for being that place. As you've seen tonight, we're committed to bringing the biggest titles and the best experiences to PlayStation. Even more, we're moving into a new reality of creativity, oh, that connection, is and deeply immersive Jackie, experience uh, that's simply unparalleled. And partnerships are key to this. And tonight, I'm proud to announce that watching all that looks really expensive. To bring the single, single biggest console franchise in video games to the number one console in the world. It's known worldwide for its epic moments and heart-racing gameplay. It's played online by tens of millions, from casual fans to competitive Call players. Duty. And every year, somehow, it raises the bar yet again. And today marks the start of a new era. For the first time ever, making its worldwide exclusive E3 reveal right here on PlayStation 4, here's Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'll probably get this because I did enjoy the first two Black Ops games. I really did. But um, the only thing I had problems with the uh, Black Ops 2 was the too much language in it. It was too much language for me. Like, fucking this, fucking that, fuck, fuck, fuck. With Black Ops 3, we're creating the Apart from that, it was a really great game. Call of Duty ever. Across the campaign, yeah, Black Ops and, and uh, Modern Warfare and always pride series. On Those were the best for me. Online experiences. And now we're bringing that same spirit to the campaign, where we've developed a gritty co-op experience from the ground up. It's not afraid to take you off the rails and let you play how you want. From the single co-op and to single player. On next gen. The weapons, equipment, and character abilities you'll earn through gameplay are chosen before each mission. How you equip yourself changes the way you play each encounter. Now we got four players getting ready for battle now, and the year is 2065, and we're in an off-the-books mission in pursuit of a high-value target in Cairo, Egypt. I'll probably be dead then. <laughs> and as is the case in the world of Black Ops, if you want to succeed, sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Waiting for team. This is Black Ops 3 on the PS4. PS4. Hey, fuck! Anybody else alive in there? Friendly's coming in. Watch his step in there. This bucket's hanging by a thread. Whoa, ho! 
Whoa, whoa, hold fire! Friendly, Winslow Accord. He's dead. And he's a bit impaled. Damn. Help me, please. You screwed, Matt. He's still breathing. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna move you. Get out of there! He's dead. He kind of looks like, um... Oh, what's he called? He was in the Hangover films and, um... American Sniper. Is Brad the Cooper? I'm sure it's Brad the Cooper. He kind of looks like Brad the Cooper then. Whoa! I mean, it threw up and die. Oh yeah, I think this would be pretty interesting to play in single player anyway. Do a bit of co op. I don't know if it's just me, but whether it's the same engine or a different engine, I'm not totally sure, but... but as the saying go, guys, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? It's been a success so far. Something bigger than that gun. Wait, I've not I've not played advanced warfighter guys, so you'll have to tell me whether it kind of resembles advanced warfighter, I don't know. I've seen the trailers to it and everything, but you know the X or skeleton suits and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. See if we can see him again. Just a little glimpse there. But yeah, it really did look Please like um, David Vonder. Bradley Cooper. It is a great privilege for me to be here tonight to represent the hardworking men and women of Treyarch and introduce to you Black Ops 3 multiplayer. We're particularly excited to be hands-on this week <coughs> for the first time ever at E3. Black Ops 3 multiplayer is about delivering full guns-up combat control. It's fast, fluid, and visceral, and feels unlike any Call of Duty before. Let's take a look. I'll look at the multiplayer now. Carnage! 
Let's hunt. Bit of mirrored edge running across the wall then. Just let you know guys, this is me playing this. <laughs> I fucking wish. I do wish I was this good. I really do. But I'm not. I have my good days and my bad days. Fucking teleportation now. Oh cool, that was a nice uh, kill then. Oh nice! That was cool when he transformed his arm to a fucking machine gun now. Cool, cool. But I probably will begin that one, considering I do enjoy the Black Ops games. Simply astonishing. As I mentioned, this is the start of a new era for PlayStation and this famed franchise. I'm pleased to announce today that starting with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, PlayStation owners will be the first to play all map packs from this great series. About fucking time with Xbox addition, trying to fucking PlayStation 4 owners will milk be the everything. First to play the upcoming multiplayer beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this August. PlayStation is the new home of Call of Duty, and we look forward to sharing more information with you soon. Now let cool. me show you some more of the great titles and content coming to PlayStation. Thank you. Last Guardian. Oh, until dawn. Another one I'll be definitely getting. I do like my horrors. As you know, guys. Definitely do with a cigarette right now. <laughs> but I do not smoke in the house considering we have our bed to go.
la la la. Star Wars films have inspired fans of all ages for decades. But the power of Star Wars is in the way it connects with us. Films, television, toys, and of course, games. We've embraced our partnership with our friends at Lucasfilm to bring Star Wars to PlayStation in a big way. Please welcome John Vignacchi. Thank you, I think I shall go and have a cigarette here, guys, considering. All right, this fall, Star I'm not really a big fan of Star Wars. Forces. With Disney, so, apologies, Pixar, guys, and Marvel inside of Disney Infinity 3.0. Star Wars is a multi generational brand, and Why our does he have to show? is to deliver the complete Star Wars experience for kids and family. At our launch this fall, Star Wars fans will enjoy Twilight of the Republic, a new adventure set during episodes one through three, the Clone Wars era. Gameplay will feature epic lightsaber minute, combat and fan favorite Jedi at the very peak of their power. And then a month later, Rise Against the Empire, that playset will release. Now this gameplay experience allows you to relive iconic moments from episodes four through six. And we think it's the perfect way for fans of the original trilogy to introduce TIE Fighters, X-Wings, Tauntauns, and more to their kids and family. Today, it is our pleasure to announce a limited edition Disney Infinity 3.0 starter pack that is exclusive to PlayStation platforms. It will not only feature the Twilight of the Republic playset and characters, but also the Rise Against the Empire playset and figures one month before they're available on any other platform. And now, here's the world premiere of the official trailer for PlayStation's early release playset, Rise Against the Empire. Join the dark side. Here's where the fun begins. No, well, all right, all right, all right. Did I forget to mention, you guys are also gonna get the Boba Fett figure. Yep, at our launch this fall, the only place you'll be able to play as Boba Fett before the holidays and experience the Rise Against the Empire playset before anyone else is through the PlayStation Limited Edition Star Wars Saga Starter Pack. Look, we hope Disney Infinity 3.0 is a great standout title for kids and family, and most importantly, Star Wars and PlayStation fans, when we launch this fall. Thank you, guys. From the world of play and imagination to the heart of epic battles, our partnership with Lucasfilm continues with our friends at EA and their release of Star Wars Battlefront coming out on November 17th. When we first saw this game running on PlayStation 4, we were absolutely blown away with what the talented team at DICE has been able to accomplish. So to tell us some more about that, I'd like to welcome to the stage General Manager of DICE, Patrick Bach. Star Wars Battlefront missions put you right into the action. Deep and highly replayable missions can be played alone, offline, or with a friend through online co-op or via split screen. There are several unique types. Battles, where you and a friend go head to head, supported by a team of AI. Hero battles, where you face off as iconic characters like Luke Skywalker, 
and Darth Vader. Trials which push you to learn and master the skills needed on the battlefront. And survival, which are debuting here today. Let's take a look. Not my best landing. Star Wars fans are pretty excited about this one and the uh, Disney Infinity one. So that's probably why it looks will pretty cool. To be the definitive console destination for Star Wars. And with that, that almost wraps our show. We'd like to thank you all for your time this evening. We hope that our array of entertainment ignites your imagination and continues to fuel your love for gaming. We are ever grateful for what your support end it with? and passion. And now to formally close our event, a small title which requires no introduction. Need I say more? There's someone's picking up the controller there. Oh, where there was. Oh, there is there. Come on! Uncharted 4 Yeah, Sully! Come on. Look at that. Sully. I think that's wow. Sam's tower. Well, it's definitely Sam's tower. Come on. This way. Pardon me. This only. Excuse me. Hmm? Excuse me, what? How long do you think before <laughs> Raid gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Come on, down here, Nate. <laughs> Sorry, pal. From looks of this, guys, I am so glad that they've delayed this.
<laughs> yeah, I don't mind them delaying this game, I really don't do. I want to make this game perfect. No point in rushing the game, really isn't. Same with them, Arkham Knight, because they delayed that, didn't they? Arkham Knight being the last one in the Rocksteady Trilogy and maybe this one by Naughty Dog, this might be the last one as well. There's no point in rushing the last games guys. Oh cool. This is going to be an epic scene, this is going to be epic to play. But yeah, I have the first three Uncharted games on the PS3. Absolutely enjoyed them. Probably uh, some of my favourite uh, games ever, including Last of Us of course. But yeah, I probably will be getting the... Um, Death and Drake collection on the PS4 when it comes out. Even though they are remastered versions, you know what I mean, but that is a remastered version worth getting. Three games in one, you know what I mean. Kind of reminds me of um, Bad Boys 2, you know, when they're going downhill for all the um, houses and everything. You can see the claws flopping everything. Detail on the water and the roads and everything. This looks incredible, I so can't wait to get my hands on this game. But yeah, when the Nathan Dread Clash comes out, I'll definitely be doing a let's play of all three games, definitely. Before this one comes out, definitely.
I was always tempted to do the original 3 on the PS3 to do a Let's Play, but now that the collection is coming out, I think I'll wait. Oh! Oh, he can't hit her! Oh, man! So they're all getting up and leaving. Hello oh, okay. okay, again. Why not? why not? Why not everything? My mind is blown. I'm having a hard time completing sentences. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Are you kidding me? Uh, we've got The Last Guardian. I we've thought got... we were going to lose it when they announced Last Guardian. To begin <laughs> with, that's their starting point. If you start with The Last Guardian, you know that you're not pulling any punches. No. I feel like we saw a lot of amazing, amazing stuff here. Project Horizon, brand wow. new. Wow. Looks unbelievable. Robotic dinosaurs? Yep. Amazing. Uh... Whatever media molecule, molecules near the Oh my god, that was so cute. That was so cool. That little polar bear. Just a minute. Looking In case you watch this, you're absolutely horrible. beautiful. Also, PlayStation View, basically it's like a la carte television programming. Pick your own package. That's incredible. It's unbelievable. Can't run, get out of there. And it's just the beginning. Shenmue 3! I actually saw on, uh, on Twitter that his Kickstarter is up to over three hundred thousand. Already over three hundred thousand dollars. It was announced twenty minutes ago here. Wow, crazy! And remember, we are going to have so much of this stuff on the stage all week, all long. week long. All week long, the PlayStation Live Pass, PlayStation.com/backslash/e3. You can catch Anthony, myself, all the blog guys <coughs> talking all week long about all the amazing games we saw here tonight. Oh my God! We will, I, yes, we will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. The Last Guardian is real. <laughs> it's real. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh dear. Well, guys, there you have it. That was my reaction to the PlayStation E3 Experience 2015 press conference. But yeah, The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII, my two anticipated games ever. But yeah, we've been waiting for those games for so long, demanding that we heard something from Final Fantasy VII Remake and just any word on The Last Guardian. But yeah, oh, tears of joy. Those games made me feel up, so apologies for being a bit um, wimpy on those. But yeah, Arkham Knight um, until dawn. It's going to be a great 2015, 2016. Jesus Christ. Anyway guys, that's it. You're very welcome. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this reaction video, my first reaction video. But um, yeah guys, like I said at the beginning, at the start, um, I'll probably edit it into separate chunks. So um, you guys can watch the separate videos but I will probably upload the full video just in case you do want to watch the whole thing but uh, for now guys hope you enjoyed this video again so feel free to like comment and subscribe um, it does help me out a lot guys it really does but um, like the guy said at the end uh, it's going on for the whole week so there might be um, a few other unveilings um, being shown so I probably will be doing um, reaction videos to them if you want me to of course but um, yeah 
Yeah, hey, I still can't wait. I still can't wait. Last get out in Final Fantasy VII. But like I said, guys, um, I will be doing um, other reaction videos considering it's going on for the whole week. Because no doubt there's going to be some other games unveiled. Like what I thought would have expected uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 there, plus a few others as well. But for now, guys, again, hope you enjoyed. Dispatch as I shall see you soon.